All right, Tech Camp people. This week we've been talking about uh, a lot of things. And uh, I want to talk to you about an enemy that sometimes sneaks up on us. That enemy is ourselves. You know, Paul talks about it in Romans 7.15 where he says, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. It reminds me of, uh, of that character you know, in Lord of the Rings and, and The Hobbit, Smeagol or Gollum. You, you remember him? You know, that guy. Um, sometimes in, in my life, I, I've realized that I really wrestle with, with self, with, with the things that I know are wrong, but man... Uh, I just, my flesh just desires to do it. Now, y'all ever have that problem? Uh, I'm sure you do. Um, it's, it's, it's a common thing. Uh, throughout Scripture, you see men who were, were, were good men, godly men, but they always had some thorn, some thing in their life that they just couldn't get past. Paul, perfect example. A, a man who was known to be probably one of the greatest missionaries ever ever still struggled still struggled with who he was and with what his flesh wanted him to do he wanted to serve God with all that he was but he found himself struggling against that and and, and wanting to go where he wanted to go and do what he wanted to do guys I want to challenge you to put self behind you and put to God first. Put God first in your life. The Bible speaks of the greatest commandments, and you've heard it hundreds of times if you've been around the church. The greatest commandment when, when Jesus was approached was, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is like it, love others as you love yourself. Man, I, I love myself. I take care of myself. But sometimes myself don't take care of me. My evil desires, my, my sinful desires get a hold of me and get a hold of you. Sometimes your evil desires get a hold of you and it pulls you away from doing what you need to do. Sometimes our greatest enemy is self. Just like Gollum in the movie. I mean, he struggled with self. You see him sometimes walking with Frodo and, and Sam and, you know, he, he's trying to help them out. And, and, and there's a scene in there where he's struggling with who he is. Never come back. No. Leave 
now and never come back. Wolf, now and never come back. We told him to go, Wolf. And the wolf goes, Brussels. Gone, gone, gone. Smiggles free. So who are you going to be? Who are you going to be? Are you going to be someone who follows after God? Or are you going to give in to self and to your evil desires? Battle against that enemy. Battle against this evil, sinful enemy that roars inside of us. Guys, be good. Peace.